Hi kids! Today we will learn how to add and subtract with like and unlike fractions. So let's get started. First of all, let's revise what are like fractions. Fractions with same denominators are called like fractions. Now, let's see how we add and subtract like fractions. Example, here are two fractions, 4 by 5 and 3 by 5. We have to add them. We just add the numerators of like fractions to add the fractions. Like for adding 4 by 5 and 3 by 5, we just add the numerators. Adding the numerators, that is, 4 and 3, we get 7. So, 7 by 5 is a sum of 4 by 5 and 3 by 5. Denominators remain the same. We just add the numerators to add the like fractions. Let's have a look at more examples. Here, we have another example. We have to add 8 by 9 and 6 by 9. These are like fractions as the denominators are same. So, we just have to add the numerators. Adding numerators, that is, adding 8 and 6, we get 14. Denominator will remain the same. So, the sum of fractions 8 by 9 and 6 by 9 is 14 by 9. Now, Let's see how we subtract like fractions. Here we have an example. We have to subtract 6 by 9 from 8 by 9. These are like fractions. As denominators are same, both are 9. We just have to subtract the numerators to subtract the fractions. Subtracting the numerators, that is, subtracting 6 from 9, we get 2. So, 2 by 9 is the difference between 2 fractions, 8 by 9, and 6 by 9. Here we have another example. We have to subtract 6 by 4 from 9 by 4. These are like fractions, as denominators of both the fractions are same. We just have to subtract the numerators in order to subtract the fractions. Subtracting the numerators, that is subtracting 6 from 9, we get 3. So, our answer is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 is the difference between two fractions, 9 by 4 and 6 by 4. So adding subtracting like fractions is very simple. Now, Let's learn how we do addition subtraction on unlike fractions. Let's first learn what are unlike fractions. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. Here we have two unlike fractions, 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. Their denominators are different, so we can't add them directly that is by just adding their numerators. So, let's see how we add them. For adding the unlike fractions, first we have to convert them to like fractions. That is, we have to make their denominators same. And then we add them like and like fractions. Now we will make the denominators same using the crisscross method. Now, Let's see what is the crisscross method. In this method, we multiply both the numerator and denominator with the denominator of other fraction. Like here, multiply both the numerator and denominator of 2 by 3 with 4. And multiply both the numerator and denominator of 3 by 4 with 3. So, it looks like a crisscross. 4 multiplied with 2, we get 8. 
4 multiplied with 3, we get 12. 3 multiplied with 3, we get 9. 4 multiplied with 3, we get 12. So, we got 8 by 12 and 9 by 12. Now, these two fractions are same as their denominators are same. Now we can add them like like fractions. We just have to add the numerators to add them. Adding 8 and 9, we get 17. So, 17 by 12 is our answer. Now let's take another example. We have to add these two fractions. 6, 2 by 3, plus 7 by 4. Here, one of the fractions is a mixed fraction. So first we convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction. We multiply the whole number with the denominator and add numerator to it. Denominator remains the same. So, multiply 6 by 3 is 18. We have converted the mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Now we have two unlike fractions to add. We have to add 20 by 3 and 7 by 4. We learned that we need to convert unlike fractions to like fractions before we add them. That is, the denominator should be the same. Now use the crisscross method to make them like fractions. Now we will multiply both the numerator and denominator of 20 by 3 with 4. And we will multiply both the numerator and denominator of 7 by 4, denominator of other fraction. So multiply it with 3 by 3. So it becomes our crisscross. 20 multiplied by 4 equals 80. 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. So it becomes 80 by 12. 3 multiplied by 7 equals 21. 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. So it becomes 21 by 12. Now we have two like fractions to add. And we know adding like fractions is easy. Just add the numerators to add the fractions. And adding 80 and 21, we get 101. So the answer is 101 by 12. Now let's learn an example where we will subtract unlike fractions. First of all, we always subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So same is for fractions. Always subtract the smaller fraction from the bigger fraction. Now let's subtract two unlike fractions. We have to subtract 5 by 9 from 2, 6 by 7. That is, we have to subtract 5 by 9 from a mixed fraction. So, first we convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction. For that, we will multiply 7 by 2 and then add 6 to it. 7 multiplied by 2 equals 14. 14 plus 6 equals 20. Denominator remains the same, so its improper fraction is 20 by 7. So, we have to subtract 5 by 9 from 20 by 7. So, these are unlike fractions. So first we use the crisscross method to convert them to like fractions. In the crisscross method, what we will do is multiply 20 by 7 with 9 by 9. That is the denominator of the other fraction and multiply 5 by 9 with 7 by 7. That is the denominator of the other fraction. 20 multiplied with 9, we get 180. 9 multiplied with 7, we get 63. 5 multiplied with 7, we get 35. 
9 multiplied with 7, we get 63. Now we have two like fractions. And we can subtract the numerators to subtract the fraction. Subtracting 35 from 180, we get 145. So, 145 by 63 is our answer. So kids, now you know how to add or subtract like and unlike fractions. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.